there to you all. Sit down. Good day, Pupis and viewers at home. Welcome on today's edition of the program School on Air. A program sponsored by Kitty State Universal Basic Education Board, SUBEC, in conjunction with UBEC. My name is Temita Yoayeni, your mathematics teacher for today. In our last lesson, we discussed about fraction. Now I want you to mention two types of fraction. Mention two out of the types of infraction. Ike Oluwa. I say types, types of fraction. Aminat. Improper fraction and proper fraction. Thank you. She mentioned two out of them, types of infraction. Today we are working on ratio. Say it everybody. Ratio. ratio. Again. Ratio. Thank you. Ratio is the comparison of two things. Ratio is the comparison of two things. When you are compare two things together, that is what we mean by ratio. For example, in this class, how many windows do we have? If you know it, raise up your hand. Tile. Four. We have uh, four windows. A round of applause for her. <laughs> how many doors do we have in this class? Benga. We, we have two doors. A round of applause for him. Thank you. Sign for ratio. This is the sign for ratio. This is the sign for ratio. So the ratio of doors to window is 2 ratio 4. Say it everybody. 2 ratio 4. Again. 2 ratio 4. Thank you. Ratio can also be written as fraction. You can write it as a fraction. It's just like fraction. We have 2 ratio 4. So it is written like as 2 over 4. What do I call it? 2 over 4. 2 over 4. Ratio can be written in their simplest form. We can reduce it to the simplest form. Like 2 over 4, we can reduce it. What number can we use now to reduce this one? I shot. 2, correct. So let's divide it. 2 in 2 will give us what? One. 2 in 4 will give us what? Two. What do we have now? 1 over 2. Correct. 1 over 2. Let's write it as ratio. It will be 1 ratio 4. 1 ratio 2. Give me the rest of One ratio two. Look up, everybody. We have how many boys? One, two, three. How many boys do we have here? Three boys. We have three boys. And here, let's count the number of the girls. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six. six. Now, Bolade, come outside. Israel. And Emmanuel, three of you stand there. Angel, Tommy Lyo, Aminat, Ike Olua, Tayo, Kende, Fumbi, Fumbi, join them. No. How many are there now? One, two, three, four, five, six. We want six. Go and sit down. Thank you. Hello, class. Hello. Now we want to compare the number of the puppies in the class. Now, in front of us, we have three boys and six girls. How many boys do we have here? Three boys. How many girls? Six girls. The ratio of boys to girls is what? 3 ratio 6. Say it everybody. Three ratio 6. We are comparing them together. Comparing of the two things together. The number of boys and the number of uh, girls. Thank you. Go and sit down.
three boys to six girls we have three ratio six now we want to write it as a frac as fraction Oreolua. come and write it as fraction thank you a round of applause for her we have three over six now we want to reduce it we want to reduce that, that three over six now we want to write it in simplest form bola day come and do that what do we have now write it correctly Now, Kolade, Balade, I want you to tell the old class, come back. I want you to tell the old class how you get 1 over 3. 3, 3, 3, 1, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3. What do you use to divide it? 2. You use 2. So, 2 in 6 will give you what? 3. Can we divide 3 by 2? Which means we are going to use 3 to divide it. Now, correct yourself. Now use 3 to divide it. Good of you. Write it as ratio. A round of applause for Gola Day. <laughs> Hello class. Hello class. Three boys to six girls. We have... 3 ratio 6. And we want to write it as a fraction. So it will be 3 over 6. Now we want to reduce it to the, in, to the lowest end term. So we divide by what? 3. 3 in 3 gives us a 1. Then 3 in 6 gives what? 2. We have 1 over 2. Now we want to write it as a ratio now. It will be 1 ratio 2. Now, I want to give you this word. We have 5 ratio 20. This is a 5 ratio 20. I want to write it in the simplest form. Tommy Layo, come and do it. Now, Tommy Layo, come. I want you to tell the old class how you get 1 ratio 4. I use 5 to divide 5. 5 plus 5 is 1. 5 plus 5 is 4. It's close to 1. A round of applause for her. <laughs> now, I want to give you class work now. I want to give you class work. You are going to write the ratios in their simplest form. Now, write the ratios in their simplest form. Question number one, four ratio 12, two, nine ratio 18, then three, 15 ratio 20.
Now, do your work. Mm -hmm. Are you through the... Good of you. Good of you. Yes. Are you getting it? Okay. Well done. Okay. Yes. Wow, wonderful. Yes. Good of you. Write it as ratio. Write your finance as ratio. Yes, good of you. Let me see your own. Mm -hmm. I'll do the next one. Well done. Good, 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 good. Are you true? All right. Okay, good of you. Let me check your own. Okay, yes. I love you all. Yes. What about you? Are you true? Yes. Yes. The last road there. Let me check your own. Yes. You are getting it. Where is the home? Okay. What of number two? Mm. Yes. Yes. Go write this one. That, that's one. Write it clearly. Yes. Good of you. Are you true? Okay. Okay, let me check your own. Okay. okay, you are getting it. You are getting it. Okay. Shall we do the correction, please? Oh, yes. oh it's the... Okay, let me check your own. Let me just see your work. Okay. This one is to be 4 over 12. Are you getting it now? Then you will now divide. What are you going to use to divide it? This one. What do you use? Eh? You use 3. And 3 goes in 4. No, 4. Hmm? You use 4. So you're supposed to write 4 over 12. Is that clear now? You will write 4 over 12. They will now divide by 4. We are doing the correction. Write the correction. Let me see your own. Good of you. Good of you. Let me see your own. Okay, good of you. I've checked your own. Yes. Let's do the correction together. I will call you row by row to come and do the correction now. The last row, Israel, come and do the correction for number one. You can do it. Look up, everybody. Now, Israel, I want you to tell the whole class how you get one ratio three. Again, explain. Four into one. Four into two. Okay, you use four to divide it. Four in four, one. Four in twelve, three. So we have one over three. So the answer is one ratio three. A round of applause for him. <laughs> Second row. 
Can they come and do the correction? I like this good limo. Oh, yeah. Now, I want you to tell the whole class how you get one ratio two. Listen, everybody. You get three over six, and you reduce this one. What do you use to divide this one? So you use three, three in three, one. Then three in six, two. We have. One ratio two. A round of applause for her. The last row. George. Come on, do the last one then. We have 15 ratio 20. Now, you say your ans the answer is 1 over 4. How do you get 1 over 4? We have 15 ratio 20. Abby, everybody listening, please. 15 ratio 20. So, you write it as a 15 over 20. Now, what do you use to divide this one? What number can we use to divide 15 and 20? Can we use 2? Five. Okay, you use five. Five goes in there and fifteen. How many times? Oh yeah, yeah. Three times. Now I want you to correct yourself. Oh yeah, write fifteen. Thank you. Now, you use, come back here, you use 5 to divide 15. It gives us what? 3. Then we use 5 to divide 20. Give us what? 4. So we have 3 over 4. Now, you want to write it as a ratio. We have a 3 ratio 4. A round of applause for him. Thank you. I want to ask you a question now. If you know it, you raise up your hand. I want you to define the ratio for me. What is ratio? Emmanuel, are you there? Oh yeah? Emmanuel. Divine ratio. Treasure. Again, everybody. Ratio is the comparison of two things. Sit down. Now, Emmanuel, divine ratio. Ratio is the comparison of a two things. Sit down. When we are comparing two things together, for example, the numbers of boys to girls. We have um, three boys and six girls. Ratio is just like a fraction. It is written as a fraction. We have three ratio six. So it is written as um, three over six. Then we want to reduce it to the lowest um, term. So we are to divide it now, to cut it. We use three to divide it. Three in three gives what? One. Then 3 in 6 gives what? 2. We have 1 over 2. Don't forget that 1 over 2 
is a, is a is ratio, is a fraction, sorry. So we want to write it as ratio. We have one ratio two. Example two, we have five ratio twenty. Five ratio twenty. We want to compare the two numbers together. We have L, you will write it like this: five over twenty. Is that clear now? Yes. Now we want to write it in their simplest form. We are going to divide it by what? Five. So we use five to divide it. Five in five gives what? Five. One. Then five in twenty gives what? Four. four. We have what? One over four. four. Now we want to write one over four as, as ratio. So it will be like this. One ratio four. Then the class work given to you, write the ratios in their simplest form. We have them. Four ratio twelve. So the answer is what? One ratio three. Then number two, nine ratio eighteen. So we have nine over eighteen. Then we use three to divide it. Yes or no? Yes. So three in nine gives what? Three. Three in eighteen gives what? Six. We have three over six. Now three over six. We can still reduce it to the lowest term. So we use 3 to divide it. 3 in 3 gives what? 1. Then 3 in 6, 2. We have 1 over 2. Now we want to write it as a ratio. The answer is a 1 ratio 2. The last one there, we have 15 ratio 20. 15 ratio 20. So you are going to write it as a fraction. We have a 15 over 20. What number can we use to divide it? We use what? 5. 5 in 15 gives what? 3. 5 in 20 gives what? 4. We have 3 over 4. 3 over 4 is a fraction. What type of fraction is 3 over 4? If you know it, Tommy Lyle. Proper fraction. Now we want to write 3 over 4 as a ratio. Is a 3 over 3 ratio 4. Now, I want you to ask me a question now. Any question? Uh -huh. Mom, yes, it's correct. Ratio 1 to 2. You can say ratio 1 to 2 or 1 ratio 2. Sit down. Another question. Yes, from B. Yes. Yes. If you have seven to five ratio seven to five, look up everybody. If you have it like this, it's same thing like seven ratio five because we are comparing two things together. Are you getting it now? So you are going to write it like this: seven. So 5 or 7 ratio 5. This sign means what? Ratio. Are you getting it now? Now I want to give you assignments. Assignments for the week. Assignments. We have 4 meter to 12 meter. Question 2. We have 3 centimeter to 15 centimeter. Hello, class. You are going to write this ratio in their simplest form. We have 4 meter to 12 meter. 3 centimeter to 15 centimeter. It's same thing like this. Is that clear now? That is 4 meter to 12 meter means 4 ratio 12. And 3 centimeter to 15 meter means 3 ratio 15. You are going to write it as L in their simplest form. This is how far we can go on today's edition. See you next week. Bye for now.